Hey guys, this is Camo Kid of 1SS and today I want to do an EDC update. A lot of people aren't doing EDC updates and I haven't done one in a long time so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do one. Uh, start out with knives. Uh, normally my EDC does change but here lately I find myself just grabbing this five and a half inch Voyager. When I go out in town this is what I uh, carry most. Uh, basically Every now and again, I'll try to carry my G10 Espada, but before I leave the house, I actually put it back down on my uh, dresser drawer, and I go ahead and grab this thing because I love it so much. Uh, it's extremely smooth action. Uh, basically, when Spyderco tries to build a rocker lock that's really smooth, uh, I mean, Spyderco would be proud of this rocker lock. It's so smooth. and. Uh, it's relatively lightweight for its size. At first, I was kind of uh, upset that the Voyager series was discontinued, but I feel this is a true improvement in ergonomics and strength. Uh, next is my neck knife, which you've probably seen. Uh, that's a actual PVC pipe sheath, and you've seen me make a video over my sheaths before, and I've gotten a lot better at making these sheaths. Not only do the shapes look better, but also you can't really tell it's PVC pipe anymore. Uh, I sent one of these to a buddy in Arkansas, and he told me, he, he said it looked like leather, and it's holding in extremely well. Uh, you're not gonna shake it out. And instead of uh, snapping in like Kydex, it's actually a friction fit, which can scratch up your blade, but uh, as you cut cardboard stuff, it can scratch up your blade, so that's not really a big deal. It can also go in the other way if you're uh, left-handed, but I think these are turning out really good, and uh, that's a little small update on my PVC pipe poor man Kydex sheaths. Now, uh, this is a 01 steel blade. I've made this style before, and if you've seen my, in my uh, last handmade knife video, this is pretty much the same knife but instead of parachute cord wrapped handle, I actually have a G10 handle. Uh, one of my buddies, the buddy I sent uh, the uh, the buddy that got this knife in, he has one of the parachute cord models, and he saw this G10 one I posted on Facebook, and he was wondering if I was getting good at making the scales, and I I am getting better, but the problem is uh, I'm working on another knife for a buddy, and uh, I'm having a hard time getting the scales to fit properly. Uh, I've tried to make two sets of scales and they haven't worked out, but uh, that is only my second knife to make a G10 handles for, so with practice, I'm gonna get better and better. Uh, the Anzo pattern that I made with the Dremel is very easy to master. And then I have some brass pins. And it's extremely sharp. Let's see, can you see my hair? Uh, kind of. It's just razor sharp. I heat treat and temper the blade myself. Can you see the hair on the blade? On the, let's see. It is shaving sharp. Uh, my brother can uh, testify to the sharpness if you can't see it on camera. Yes, um, it is uh, razor sharp. And uh, if I fine tune it, I can actually whittle hair. I've used this knife today, so I probably can't whittle hair. And I couldn't catch it on camera if I wanted to. But uh, that's just an update. Uh, on my handmade knives and expect to see more handmade knife videos. I have some other uh, projects I'm working on. I just ordered some more G10. I uh, got some mosaic pins coming in. So uh, if you're into handmade knives as a hobby and uh, just watch out for my next videos uh, coming up in the next few weeks or so. And also this lanyard or this uh, knot that I put on the uh, lanyard can adjust so I can make it really uh, tight or I can loosen up just by pulling on the knot and have it down there uh, but basically that's my knives and for my flashlight I have the cork one two three squared uh, this is I, I'm not sure what addition this is but it's only 230 lumens uh, my brother Hisatsu 5 he actually has one that's 360 lumens but this is still an awesome light, guys. I really recommend it. One of my favorite features, not only is it really bright, but uh, it's the perfect uh, headlamp. You don't have to deal with the funny straps or anything. If you're used to wearing a hat like I am, 
it's at the perfect angle so when you're working with things it's shining right at the right angle uh, nice pocket clip uh, my cell phone I'm still rocking the dinosaur stone age uh, razor it's working out well for me uh, the only problem is I can't do videos on it but uh, besides that it's a good phone anybody that's ever owned a razor will know that's a pretty good phone uh, my parachute cord bracelet uh, instead of carrying uh, wearing the Copra stitch style I'm just going with the skinnier style I think it looks really good and when I'm typing it doesn't hurt my wrist when I type and rest my hands on a table uh, my watch is a, a G-Shock I forgot the exact model it's not a Gulfman I forgot what model it is but uh, it's you know it's holding up pretty good uh, my wallet uh, I did have a leather wallet that I bought and I used to make duct tape wallets back in high school and I started missing uh, a duct tape wallet so uh, I got some Gorilla tape out I guess you don't need to see how much money I have but there's that compartment and in my leather wallet I had two pockets uh, for like credit cards and uh, you know IDs and everything I only have one ID but <laughs> anyways uh, as I was making this wallet, I, I made the, this first pocket over here and I noticed it fit all of my, uh, my cr cards and all that, so I didn't actually make a second pocket. So that's working out well for me. It might not look real pretty, but it works. And uh, for my keys, uh, I'm rocking this rock climbing carabiner that I got for my birthday in March. It's, uh, I bought it from REI and uh, the spring is really stout on it. it I believe it's about eight bucks and it says mad rock on the side I'm not sure if that's the brand but it is a kick butt carabiner and uh, it's beautiful I think and it's really working out for me and uh, right now since I'm testing this neck knife out testing out the cutting ability and edge retention and everything since I do my own heat treat uh, I'm just carrying this right now but last week uh, and when I do decide to carry a secondary knife, uh, normally what I'm going for right now are these bench maids, uh, a mini griptilian, and this bench made 530. And that deployment sucked, but there we go. Uh, both really great knives. Uh, 154cm uh, is awesome at holding an edge and sharpening. It doesn't take too much. Uh, time to sharpen one uh, 54 cm and this particular knife is over a three inch blade and weighs less than 1.9 ounces so that's really amazing how light this thing is I think it's totally underrated by the knife community and uh, if you ever looked at Benchmade uh, and you saw this knife in the catalog it actually looks a lot better in person than it does in the catalog and uh, you should really try it out it's about 70 bucks and it's worth every penny made in america uh, and it's just extremely light and extremely effective cutter and uh let's see i believe that's about it oh wait one more thing with my keys i, I do play guitar and i keep this spare ugly uh guitar pick on my keys in case I run into a place and I'm without a guitar pick and somebody has a guitar and I want to play uh, but anyways that's my quick update for my EDC and uh, expect more knife making videos and also I got a really great response on my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu video I have one more to upload and uh, that's really not for my general audience it's really for the people I did uh, Jiu Jitsu with it's some buddies that uh, went to the tournament with me, but I'm sure you'll enjoy their performance. Uh, I actually have one more performance. That video I uploaded a while ago, that was my first jiu-jitsu match, and I won. And I'm going to go ahead and upload my second match, uh, and I lost. And uh, it was a really good match. The guy that I went against, he's really skilled. Uh, he's been practicing jiu-jitsu a lot longer than I have, and I had an extremely good time with the tournament. Uh, you have anything to add, Hisatsu? Uh, no. All right. Well, uh, if you have any questions about my EDC or uh, my handmade knives, just leave a comment, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.